Hey, what's going on guys? Today's quick video is gonna be a tip for you to save money on your shipping supplies. I do a lot of eBaying, and this right here is a printing label. It's on the other side, obviously. I wanna keep the buyer's address and my address protected. But on the other side, the way it prints out, obviously, it's a laser color. I'll show you right there. Really beautiful laser color printer. Picked this up pre-owned off of a local pickup on eBay. It's a Xerox. I highly recommend number one, laser printers. You don't have to have color, but at least a black laser. You'll print out many more documents, shipping labels, then going with an ink cartridge that runs out and you can't even use it if the color goes out and you're only printing black, all that nonsense. Anyway, laser or color laser, that's number one. Number two, here's the biggest tip. Let me go ahead and cover that up for security. I print all my labels now. I ran out of computer paper and I've been printing it on school paper and you're like, that's kind of ghetto. Well, it is ghetto, but guess what? It's cheap and a lot cheaper. I find this stuff all the time, meaning that I dumpster dive for all my office supplies, bubble wrap, paper, etc. If I can't find computer paper, I find school paper. The post office has no problem, and this has been tested at FedEx and USPS post office. No issues have come up with lined school paper using that as shipping label. What I do is I cut out the square after I print it off of eBay and I tape it with packaging tape onto my package. Let me show you. While I'm at it, let me show you another tip. So what I do is I literally use, I get these out of the dumpsters or when they come to myself, I reuse the manila envelopes and I tape my label over the top of this one and of course use packaging tape. I get off of Amazon, very well priced, or a 99 cent store is even cheaper, but this quality is a lot better and it's not that much more per roll on Amazon. I get the six or eight pack rolls. So we'll cut out the label to kind of match this one and I'm covering up my address and then I'll tape it right on the top of this. And just like that there, nicely taped on, right on top, and again, I've never had a problem at the post office or FedEx. I think I've even done UPS as well, and I don't think I had a problem there either. And then, of course, I use my scale. I'll try to link all this in the description box, a cute scale. This one's fantastic, up to 86 pounds. Let me show you real simple, of course. You just go ahead and throw it on. Right there, 2.9 ounces. So you go ahead and just print a label out for three ounces. I tend to round up, it's mostly the same price. So I actually printed out a label off of eBay with my discount, four ounce label, slap that bad boy on. And the people at the post office, you look like a boss when you roll right past them, drop off your package in the bin and walk out. And people standing in line for 20 minutes are like, what in the world is going on? Hopefully the video has helped you guys smash that thumbs up button if it has, given you some tips and tricks to save some cash off of eBay shipping and selling on eBay or even selling on Amazon. I do the same thing off of Amazon as well. Subscribe because I got a lot more awesome videos. Check out the channel. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.